Here is a Amazon Fire TV stick, third generation. I'm gonna show you how to set it up step by step. So the first thing right out of the box, first we get the Alexa remotes. We get the, tie, um, the Fire TV stick itself. And we also get the power cable here, which is USB-A to a micro USB, micro USB part. You would plug in to the Fire TV stick to give it power, okay? We also have a HDMI extender here. We have uh, two AAA batteries here for the remotes. We have a wall adapter here, and we also get a quick start guide manual here. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this HDMI extender. Now the thing is, you don't really have to use this HDMI extender. However, if you use it, basically you just plug the um, Fire TV stick into here, plug that into here, and then what you get is more flexibility when you plug it into your HDMI port, okay? So you, usually if you just plug this by itself, you may have issues. You may not be able to put in other HDMI devices. Also, I highly recommend using this because this can improve your Wi-Fi as well as your remote performance. So just go ahead and use this. So again, HDMI extender into the Fire TV stick. Next, let's go ahead and grab your power cable here. Micro USB is going to go into the Fire TV stick right here. When it goes in one way as well. Now this is now this USB cable here is only going to provide power, okay? Now the thing is, some of you guys may be able to use this and just plug it to an open USB port in the back of your TV. However, it is recommended to use the power adapter. Uh, sometimes when you don't use the power adapter, you're not going to put you're not going to get enough um, juice. Sometimes you may have issues with uh, this freezing, or maybe you're not able to update unless you go ahead and use this power adapter, okay? So for myself, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the power adapter just like this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug the HDMI port into the back of my TV. So to my back of the TV, I have a bunch of open USB ports. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose one or HDMI ports. So I'm gonna plug that into there. And then to give it power, I'm gonna plug this into a socket right there. Now make sure your TV is on. Now the first thing I wanna note is with the Fire TV stick, you can go ahead and connect it to a, doesn't matter what kind of TV, it could be a smart TV, it could be a non-smart TV, it can be a monitor, a computer monitor, it can even be a projector, as long as there's an HDMI port in the um, uh, back of the TV. Anyway, once the Fire TV is connected to the TV, you wanna go ahead and select the correct HDMI port, so you go. You can go to your remote. Usually, it's a. Uh, it says input or uh, source. So this Sony TV says input. Now I have to go to the correct HDMI port, which obviously would be this one. It says Fire TV stick. So let me go ahead right there. Okay, now it says searching for a remote. So go ahead, go ahead and grab your remote and your batteries, and you want to go ahead and pop the back plate off. There's like an arrow over here going shooting this way. So put your thumb right here kind of press back like that and put the AAA batteries in make sure it is in correctly put that in there put that in there and then it should f find it automatically give it one second here oh now it says what does it say here press the play pause button to start so go to your remote play pause right there let's prep let's tap on that right there and here we go, it should be paired to see the remote works. Yep, okay, so from here, go ahead and choose your language. I'm gonna go with English US, press on enter. It just said my network uh, connection was successful. That's because I bought this Fire um, TV stick off of Amazon and they already had my, uh, my Wi-Fi username and all that stuff already saved. However, you may have to manually put in your um, Wi-Fi and password, okay? Installing latest software here now okay now it's restarting checking for updates now downloading the latest software finishing updates okay so now it says uh, welcome Virgil Amazon like I said Amazon already knows who I am I saved all my information to Amazon that's why they knew my uh, my Wi-Fi network here my password and so on 
So it says welcome virtual. So I can go ahead and continue here. Now, if, if there's a name on there that is not you, then what you want to do is go over here and change account, change it to your account. Okay, anyway, this is me here. So I'm going to go ahead with continue. Now it says, uh, for me, it says restore Fire TV. That's because I have a bunch of other Fire TVs. I can go ahead and restore everything I have it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip that so I can show you guys um, the, the other, um, what I have to go through. Okay. So from here, uh, parental controls, do you want to enable it or not? I don't need to. So I'm going to go with no parental controls. Go ahead and click on OK there. Preparing your remote for setup. Okay, so this involves the uh, remote here. It says, we'll be playing music during the next step. Please make sure your volume is turned up, then continue. Okay. So let me go ahead and click on next here. All right. I hear music here. And it says here, uh, point your uh, remote, point it at your TV, toggle up and down volume. Okay, so up. You can see the volume down. Yeah, it's increasing and decreasing. It's working for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and highlight yes here. Click on OK right there. Fire TV remote is now set up, successfully set up. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK right there. And then from here, you can go ahead and choose your streaming services. You can go and get started, or you can go to No Thanks and download it later. I'm just going to go with No Thanks, and you can always download that at another time. And introducing the all new Fire TV experience, you can go ahead and read through that. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on OK to got it. And here's like a quick intro here. You can go ahead and fast forward out of this if you wish. Or you can go ahead and watch through all of it. And now... Oh, they already saved my profile as well. Let me go ahead and log in. And voila. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and download. I have to download, I do have Netflix that I use, Amazon Prime Video. I use like Hulu and Sling. I'll go ahead, I'm gonna to have to find all those and download and install those as well. So I see, net, you know, for example, Netflix here, I can go ahead and download that. Let me go ahead and download that. And this is not a free service. It's a subscription plan with Netflix. So I can go ahead and download that and it's going to install. And of course, I'll have to sign in with my username and my password. And I have to do that on several apps. Okay, like I said, uh, I have to download Hulu, Sling, uh, Amazon, Prime Video, and uh, Netflix. And don't forget that this is a, uh, a Alexa remote. So you can press and hold that and you can ask her something. Like, for instance, open Netflix. Press, hold it, <laughs> say it then let go after you're done saying it, okay? So you can open up Netflix, you can press and hold it and say, uh, rewind 30 seconds, and tons of other stuff. Uh, let's see here. What's tomorrow's forecast? Tomorrow in Monrovia, there will be mostly sunny weather with a high of 98 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 65 degrees. Hope you guys got the message. Any questions or issues, just comment below and I'll see if I can help you guys out, all right? Good luck.